What's up, people? I'm so excited for this weekend because I'm going to fucking Milan. Yes, sir, that's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, pack, head to the gym, and then go to my friend's next house. So see you there. So guys, we're back home. Basically, a bit of background for our trip. We're going to fucking Milan, so let's go. It's basically my brother Nick's 21st birthday. So me, myself, Nick, and my other friend, Alaric, we're going to a trip to Milan to watch football. We're going to watch Inter Milan game against Florentina at the San Siro Stadium, so I'm super stoked for that. And just can't wait to show you guys the content. Also, I got my friend Nick a little gift for his 21st, but I'm gonna reveal it later what it is, and we'll hopefully we can get his reaction as well. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start packing, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, and then tonight I'm staying at Nick's house, and we're gonna get a, a cab to the airport, and off we go. <laughs> session pretty sick pump as you can see pretty anabolic yes sir so now just gonna shower refreshing up and then gonna head to next put down my stuff also if you guys are interested in doing the back workout i did just now everything all the sets and reps will be linked in the description so definitely check the link down there and i'll see you later what's up guys so i made it to next place and guess what? I've got his present, so let's go surprise him. All right. Come with me, come with me. Nick's making some really fragrant steak for me. You know, he's my brother, he cooks for me. My brother, welcome <laughs> to the vlog, mate. <laughs> we, we got you a little something. Cheers, bro. Oh, false metal. I hope you like it, man. <laughs> My day one brother. Let's see, let's see what it is, man. Open it, open it. Come on. It's very useful <laughs> for you, man. Because because of your recent situation. I think I think it's a it's a good good thing to have. Ah. Yeah it is. Oh what is that? Oh, Show the camera. Show the camera. Can't hold it. Just gonna look after the safe. Let's see what he's cooking up. <laughs> Let's get a close up on the safe. Next made me this incredible piece of steak. Get get a pan on it, get a pan on it, get a pan on it. Let's see, let's do a little mukbang. Alright. First piece, you know what I'm saying? It's rich. Look at the colour. Crispy the surface, color. red in the middle. Absolute juice. Absolute gains, I can say. So we're just gonna sit in the steam room for a little bit, have a little nice chat, plan out the itinerary for the trip tomorrow. I'm gonna get to that, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Morning, morning. All right. What are we saying, boss? 5 a.m. We out here, lads. So we got here, we're in Milan. I'm also very hungry. Probably gonna go out, get some food, might get some pasta, 
try some of the local delicacies. Yeah, this room is simple. Nothing much, nothing fancy. It's functional. Wrong direction, mate. <laughs> so, on the road. Beautiful, beautiful day, isn't it? I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving. It's 2.30 and we still haven't had any food in us since 8 a.m. Where are we going right now? Tavolino. Tavolino, man. We're at the restaurant and we'll check it out. Alright, so the food's here. So I got look at that cheese risotto. Absolutely tasty. And uh, the gnocchi with cheese as well, obviously. Alright, Alaric, what did you get, mate? Same thing. Ooh, what's that? Salami platter. Very nice. Alright, Nick, mate, what'd you get? So it's like a risotto, like there. There's a Milano risotto, and this is a veal bone marrow dish. Ooh. Look at that. Bone marrow. I see you. Very rich cheese flavor. Definitely. And we also got this wine. Single blend, 100% um, Italian wine, which is pretty decent. So, cheers. So, we finished up our lunch and now we're going to take the train to the San Siro Stadium. Ready for the Inter Milan game. So excited for the game. Can't wait. The station is quite different in terms of like the architecture and stuff. Yeah, stay tuned. There we go. And the stadium. Absolutely massive. Crazy. Gonna go check it out. Get ready for the game. Oh, we're at our seats. Atmosphere is absolutely unbelievable. It's crazy. It's actually, man. Currently 0-0 the score, so we'll see what happens. All predictions, I'm going 2-0 Inter. 2-1 Inter. Score predictions. 1-0 Inter. Alright, it's a must-win game for Inter. If they want to stay on top of AC Milan and Napoli, they have to win this game against Florentino. <laughs> Guys, first half ended 0 no, 0. No. It was pretty boring. But hopefully, we'll get some better football in the second half. And it's just about to start, so we'll see about that. So, Florentino just scored. It's not looking good. My prediction's gone wrong already. Only Nick's prediction is alive right now. 2 1. 2 1. So, two goals from Inter. That'll do it. But it's looking peak right now for Inter. Inter just scored. It's 1 1 right now. It's all to play for in the second half. So, it's lit. Potential penalty for Inter, but the checking VAR right now. Very intense, 
atmosphere. Two one, two one. No penalty, no penalty. Game goes on. Game's just ended. Final score was 1 1. Were your thoughts on the game? It's quite boring, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. But the atmosphere was insane. Like, the Italian fans are like super intense and very passionate about the game. Like, they were screaming when there were fouls. When they celebrated, it was ham. Like, people went crazy. So, it was good to experience the atmosphere. And definitely an experience of a lifetime to come here and watch a football game. We expected better football, definitely. It's, it's like between the third seed and the eighth seed, like, come on. And it was way slower, like the pace, compared to like the Premier League. And I think both teams made loads of mistakes as well. This is not their best day. And also, the ref is so dumb, like, he can't referee the game. Like, there's so many fouls that should have been given. Or so many advantages that should have been given, but they were not given. But yeah, so that's our thoughts on the game. And now we're probably gonna head to dinner. We're looking at probably getting some steak. Do some like free What's up, fellas? So we're at dinner right now, and I've just had the best pasta, best linguine I've ever had in my whole life. I didn't even have the time to vlog it because, like, I just demolished my plate. Look at this damage. It's absolute colossal damage, and the sauce was just. What do you what, what, what do you say about the sauce? We got a lobster linguine, yeah. The tomato sauce just has a glimpse of lobster flavor in it, and it just makes it incredible. I apologize for not uh, vlogging it before, but uh, but we've still got food coming, and we'll we'll, we'll give a review on that. Other courses came. So here we have the ravioli. What's inside? Ravioli. Ragu. And something else. Oh, my God. So good. Very honest. The food quality here in Italy compared to the UK is 50 times better. I kid you not. Randomly walked into this restaurant without any expectations. And it's completely exceeded our expectations. Like, it's just a random restaurant. Like, imagine if we went like fine dining. That would be unbelievable. Good morning, we are out, second day in Milan, ready for this day. Our primary objective was done yesterday where we went to a football game. So today we have the whole day to relax and chill. So now we're just gonna go get some lunch, we'll do some touristy stuff and hopefully can have a really fun and packed day. Enjoying the weather honestly, like it's just so calming, the weather. Beautiful city, architecture, everything. Film you too? Yeah, of course. I bet. Oh, 
Let's get it! We are here, got them e-scooters, we're scooting around the city, it's so much fun. You don't need a driver's license here to go on an e-scooter, so that's what you don't get in the UK. Scooting around here is absolutely unbelievable, it's actually so much fun. Just look at me, bro. Alright. We're out here and doing some sightseeing. This building is absolutely amazing. The structure is just crazy. Yes guys, we're at a legendary Duomo. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. Jesus, what a legendary piece of structure. It takes years to build that kind of stuff. Like, it's good to appreciate these kind of stuff. Thanks for the close up mate, appreciate it. So we're gonna get some ice cream. Um, give you guys a review on the Italian ice cream, see how that fares. It's gelato, I'm sorry, okay, I'll correct myself. Mm. It's really good, it's very soft. The flavor's amazing, and like, seriously, look at this. I got the large size, grande, so it's decent, it's like 530 euros, something like that. Guys, we stumbled upon this cafe from Aqua di Parma. They're actually making a temporary cafe, so they really got lucky. Nick spotted it. It's a good spot, Nick. Good spot. Very good spot. Yeah, we just tried the coffee. It's decent, it's decent, pretty decent. Aqua di Parma is launching a new cologne and they're just promoting it, so that's why they have this cafe and they took over this restaurant. But, anyways, it's really interesting to. And we we're really fortunate to, to come here because we never planned to come here. Like we just stumbled upon it. Guys, we went shopping just now, got some stuff, D-Mag outlets, absolute crazy, got a whole lot of stuff, got a whole lot of new drip, and they got some stuff as well, so I'm pretty happy. And my dad, dad, I love you. So we got some stuff, pretty happy with our purchases, this was one of them, nice little, nice little vest going on, very warm, from a brand called Lotus, happy to, happy to get some new things. Now we're going, gonna go back to the hotel. Made it to dinner. Gonna have some steak tonight. Really nice restaurant behind me. Gonna have some steak. Oh, really? A little bit of Italian pizza. Kind of bread pizza. First dish. We got risotto with mushrooms. So the steak has arrived, 
and it's absolutely incredible. Fiorentina steak, looking very nice, and we shall indulge. Oh, look at this, look at that. So sexy. So good. I don't know what you're saying. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. The texture. <laughs> Holy shit. We've got the tartar as well for later. Absolutely. I'm wearing my Inter Milan scarf. But what I want to say is that's the end of the vlog. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. The only regret I have is the trip's just too short. Like we should have gone like at least four days, three nights. Our trip's only three days, two nights. And we spent like half a day to a day traveling. Definitely if we had another day, we could have done more sightseeing like going to the lakes and stuff. All in all, it's a really fun trip with my boys. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it too. So guys, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as I did. I spent a lot of time editing uh, the footage for you guys and I appreciate it. Also guys, some of the music used in this video is from my boy Tolu's new album. So if you want to check his album out, make sure you hit the link in the description below. The music is great, so make sure you check it out. But anyways, that's the end of the vlog and look out for the next one because there's more coming. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Peace. <laughs> yes, I'm taking a piss, mate.